Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a police car on its roof. Only in Fernbus Coach Simulator. Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK for a bit more of Fernbus Coach Simulator. Now you may or may not have seen that update 1.8.10945 has just been released and this release is more or less to do with lighting in the environment. Now some people are not happy about this, they've been expecting a lot more force feedback, some people are complaining about not having 900 degree steering. Check out my video on how to get 1 to 1 900 degree steering if you still haven't got it. But um, at the end of the day, it's an improvement, it's an enhancement. And there's a new feature where they've added the ability to have third party camera on your driver, which is mm, whether or not it's needed is irrelevant. It is new. It's a feature. It's a, it's a step further forward. I'm quite happy. In addition to that, you'll notice that we've got this mod section popped up now. Now mods are limited to uh, repaints for the coaches at present. So uh, I've taken a good look at it this week and I've uploaded some mods which are free for you to download. So there's the thank you TML. <clears throat> I only laugh because some of you will be complaining. But there's a thank you TML mod from me. There's a Mayhew original. Um, don't worry. The reason why I have these twice by the way, in case you're wondering why I have the same repaint more than once, is because uh, one of them is from Steam, from the workshop, and the others are my originals that I literally hand-built and put in myself. There's one for Bournemouth FC, and my absolute favourite, at the moment at least, is the Bayern Munich FC version. So they're all up. Um, and I'm going to use one of those today in a drive. Now, I know I started a route uh, a week or two ago, and I did the first section of it. I'll come back to that. I will. But today, I'm just going to do a new route because I want to drive my new paint, and uh, I want to drive something that's relevant to that. It's quite a long drive. The drive is going to be... So yes, here we are, um, Munchen, and uh, basically what we're going to do, I was going to take the uh, the coach from Munchen to Frankfurt, but um, because I haven't unlocked it, I'm going to have to do it the other way around. So what's this? What does that do? <laughs> I can't remember. Frankfurt to Munchen. So that is the route we're going to do today. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that I'll probably take the wrong turning and this will take a lot longer than it's meant to. So we got four, nearly five hour travel time. It's 438 kilometers. It's quite a long way. So we're basically just going to pick up all the fans or maybe the players, I don't know, from Frankfurt Airport and we're going to drive them down to Munchen and drop them off at the Allianz Stadium which by the way in case you didn't know is the first football stadium to have a fully full color changing exterior I believe correct me if I'm wrong so I haven't been to Munchen yet I'm interested to see if the stadium is there I'll be quite impressed if it changes color so in in order to test that out I've already got the uh, coach selected so this is the coach that I've built uh, for Bayern Munich took quite a while and there's still a little bit to do there's a little bit of alignment issue on this badge here um, and I want to do something with the rear of the coach a bit more and I also want to uh, tidy up the front somehow and uh, this bit here looks a bit bare but other than that see my logo on top other than that guys that is the uh, Bayern Munich football FC coach thing that I built 
which is free for you to download from uh, the Steam Workshop. So go help yourselves or have a look and comment on it. Give me a thumbs up, that kind of thing. You know, all the nice stuff. So, yeah, in order to see if the Alliance does change colour, let's go at eight. It's going to take four hours, isn't it? So we want to get there about... Yeah, so if we leave at six, we can get there round about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And that should be good. What is the date today? Yeah. 17th, is it? Yes, it is. Dynamic weather. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's the route we're doing today. Okay, guys. So here we are. This is the coach. And um, 6 o'clock. But it's already really quite dark. So what is this blue thing? What is that blue thing? Sorry, you got distracted by that. <clears throat> so this is the coach. I'll take you on a quick tour of the coach. Um, as best I can, at least. And you can see here, I've got all the necessary firm bus, Bundesliga, and advertising. Lewandowski there, or Le Lewandowski, can't say his name properly. Everything's lined up. It's not a carbon copy of the Bayern Munich coach because you can't put uh, stuff over the windows, except on the rear window. The rear window is the only window that you can put stuff on. So I had to be kind of creative in how I mimicked the official bus. You can see we got uh, Robin just there, but it's a bit too dark for you to see his face. But everything lines up pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the best I can show you, really, in this current light. So let's jump on board and get ourselves settled. Now you should be able to see out the rear view window. Yeah. Now I was trying to make that uh, more transparent so that you could really see out the rear window. But uh, I haven't had a lot, a lot of luck with that, so that's something I'll come back to. Let's have a little sit down here. Get the coach on. Now, I haven't got the uh, steering cam on today, chaps, for the simple fact that... Um, for the simple fact that my GoPro has let me down too many times... Let's turn the aircon on. Messenger monitor on. Wi-Fi. Kitchen. Kitchen? The bloody kitchen on this thing? Okay. Now, does that mean the doors are unlocked or locked? So that means unlocked. And that means locked. Okay, I think that's right. Plenty of fuel. Okay, I think we're all good. We're all ready to go. Get my head tracking sorted out. Uh, yeah, my GoPro's let me down too many times, so it's going back to Amazon. And uh, so there's no there's no steering cam today. Some of you might prefer that. Some of you might not. Now, ordinarily, I turn the the map in the bottom right hand corner. I turn that off as well. But because I can't remember how to do it, I'm not going to. Oh, goodness me. I forgot something. I'll remember to do it in a moment. So we're going right here. Right, I said. So, in previous videos that I've made, I have been really kind of concentrating on entertaining you guys. Uh, whether or not I achieve, achieve that is neither here nor there. The uh, the end result is that I haven't really been playing the game 
with ultimate realism, which is my key thing, really. That's what I'm all about, is ultimate realism. So I'm going to try and focus more on the driving aspect and less on talking and informing you about things and just take some time to enjoy enjoy the game and the uh, high level of realism that it provides because and don't think that I'm complaining <clears throat> since I started YouTube <clears throat> excuse me since I started YouTube I haven't really had any time at all to just enjoy a game any game I play I prepare for I have content to discuss I have things I want to mention and um, it just kind of takes a lot out of the game there's a few things I want to mention today obviously because uh, there's a new patch new update 1.8 point blah 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 but uh, yeah what we're going to do is we're going to go for no speeding tickets no crashes no wrong turns no sp no speeding nothing like that that's the idea today So lighting has changed uh, predominantly with mirrors, which I, sorry, don't think are still quite there. It's better. I'm seeing cars before they pass me now, which I've never done before. So it does look better. Whether or not that will be the case, whoa, crikey. Whether or not that be the case on open road is subject to discussion. You can certainly see headlights in the rear view mirror now. Sorry, the side mirror. So that's good. That's something at least. Now, I'm supposed to be at Frankfurt Airport for six o'clock. I don't know what time it is now. Oh, I've got eight minutes. Okay, so we're a little way off. My God, see how close that van is to that truck. It was proper tailgating him. Oh, man, we need to come across. That's okay. It's okay. We're good. So, yeah, the, the lighting has been updated now why on earth this lorry in front of me doesn't have any lights on I don't know but I mean you can quite clearly see it doesn't have any lights on at all <clears throat> I'll be interested if he breaks whether or not he has any brake lights even because that could cause all sorts of problems if he doesn't Certainly the wing mirrors are better. I can see headlights coming. I can't see the car, but then in reality, on a real motorway, you certainly notice the headlights before the car anyway. God, I hate these windy bits. Now I need to concentrate here because I'm coming off. But I don't know where. always get lost at Frankfurt Airport. Did you hear that aeroplane? I like that, that they've added sound effects. I know that's not new, but I do like it regardless. Which way are we going? Looks like we're staying in the left hand lane today. 
That would make sense if we were picking up arrivals. So far so good. It looks like that's our pickup point right there. But I can't see any people. Which is a bit of a concern. Now if you see all these AI parked coaches, they're all... Ah, there's our passengers. They are all of the same type. They are all Flixbus. But I saw in QWERTY Afro's video that some of the AI buses were in custom paints which is really awesome oh, what? Oh I've locked the doors that's why I can't open the doors safety first So I'd be interested to see what happens when we get to Munchen, whether or not that fixes the problem. Now, this is a new feature of the update, 1.8, blah, 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 blah. He says, clicking it and it not work. Oh, there we go. It says, it says in the, uh, in the, in the update notes on Steam that you click the middle mouse button, but you don't. You scroll it. And as you can see, there's me. And that's exactly what I look like. Except I'm not wearing a green jumper. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, yes, I do want to see your ticket. I just need to log in, madam. Sorry. Bear with me, uno momento. Let's go. Well, luckily for you, sir, that's exactly where we're going. Thank you, Shun. Let's go. Next. Oh. Thank you, Shun. Hello, lady. For some reason, I can't seem to stand forwards in third person view. I can only stand next to somebody, but that's okay. That's not a big issue. Thank you, Sharon. He's obviously not going on our bus, that's fine. Hello, my ticket. Thank you, Sharon. Ciao. And last but not least, this lady wants to go to Munchan. There we go. So there's the bus, guys. I think it looks pretty cool. If we just shut these doors, you know, maybe I'm biased, but uh, I spent a lot of time on it. And I really try to make it look good. Let's go first person here. I think that looks pretty authentic. I'm quite happy with it anyway. So uh, yeah, I've pretty much shown you everything there is in uh, update 1.8. Let's just make sure everybody's okay. Everyone all right? Tea, coffee, facilities. Yeah, you all look good. Where is this sink then? Is this the sink? The kitchen, I mean. That must be the kitchen, I guess. All righty. Let's not hang around. Let's make sure we get to our destination on time. Because these guys have been to a Bayern Munich game. And uh, probably won. <laughs> Seeing as that's what Bayern Munich tend to do. Let's, um, let's 
start the ride a minute early. Perfect. So we're actually ahead of time. We've got all our passengers. And uh, away we can go. Forgot I hadn't put it in gear. Okay, so it's a good start anyway. We have successfully negotiated Frankfurt Airport, which often causes me issues. Looks like we're going up here. It's a bit of a tight corner. Actually, I must say, the uh, the light effect coming off this roadworks is pretty good. I don't recall having seen it looking that realistic before. So maybe that's a, an indication of the updates that they've applied to the lighting in-game. Now oh, we're coming across here. I see a car there. Is he letting me go? Difficult to tell. I think he might be. So they've changed the headlights as well. Um, and I looked at the image they provided. I mean, that... I don't know. Is that good enough for low beam? It's pretty dark, isn't it? I'm not sure I'd be confident of driving a car with such terrible... I certainly wouldn't be confident of driving a coach with such terrible visibility with the, the headlights on low beam. I can't even see where the road is. I think some uh, some more work perhaps is required on the on the lighting. Certainly the wing mirrors are better. Well done there. I can actually see cars coming up behind me now, which is nice because that was a real problem. But I think in front of me. There needs to be a bit more light. I think the light on the ground is fine. That's pretty um, pretty accurate. AC too cold. About 22 degrees, that should do it. But um, it should be reflecting off the car like it did the uh, sign there. And possibly there should be some cat's eyes or something in the road. Just so you can see which way the road is going, like now. Jesus. What? See, I just couldn't tell which way I was going at all. Could not tell which way I was going. It was so dark. Oh, no. This is kind of a feature when I do a... When I do a firm bus video, it seems. Um, how do I bring up the map? I can't remember. There we go. Now, how bad is this? So, we've got no chance of turning off anywhere. So, we're definitely going onto this road. Oh, man. That's a real pain in the backside. I want to just turn round and drive back, but like I say, I'm trying to do it properly today. <sighs> so we're going to have to come up here. Maybe I can turn around. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, that has annoyed me. That wasn't so much to do with my a mistake I made, but the fact that I can't see the flipping road. I think high beam's just going to have to stay on. I know if the police pull me over, I'll get penalised for that, but I need to be able to see the road. I really do. Incidentally, in my humble opinion, I find that the full beam... Crikey. Full beam would be a little bit too much. It looks like 
Looks like the sat nav has picked up my alternate route. Uh, yeah, so full beam I think is a bit too much to be um, low beam. So uh, just changing low beam to be what the high beam currently is, I don't think is a solution. Oh, you're absolutely kidding me. Absolutely kidding me. Sorry about that, guys. That was a big smash as well. Just kind of goes to show that this game is not quite there in terms of realism. Now, I know <laughs> the sensible of you will be saying, but that was your fault. You were looking the wrong way. But I should be able to see that mirror and see if anything's there quickly. That's the point of it. Thank you. Oh, up on the curb. That's the point of a rear view mirror so that you can quickly understand and see your what your surroundings are like. And at present, it's still, I mean, even now I look at it, I can't see a thing. Cannot see a thing. Right, which one are we turning down? Is it here? I think it's here. And I think the game could definitely benefit from you know anywhere where there are junctions and turnings and road signs, just have a bit of roadside lighting. Too slow. The grandparents are driving slower. Well thank you for that. I'm driving in near pitch black conditions with terrible headlights and a rather dubious GPS system, so just deal with it, Lee. <laughs> now, I don't want to come off here, I want to go straight over and then round according to what I can see of the GPS system. Whoa. Am I on the hold shoulder? Is this a, a lane? I don't even know. I feel like we're in the hard shoulder. Goodness me. Right, well, we're back on the correct motorway at least. So let's just jump in the outside lane and hit it hard. Keep my eyes open for Munchen. Oh. No, you don't. That was really dangerous, wasn't it? Thanks for doing that. Goodness gracious me. Wow. So I can't wait until the map modding tools are out and we can get rid of those stupid chicanes that are just here, there and everywhere. For a game that's got such fantastic rolling motorways, it's completely destroyed. Well, not completely destroyed, but massively impaired by those stupid chicanes that just appear all over the place. What a pain they are. What speed restrictions do we have? 110, chance to be a fine thing. 110, yeah, that's not 
really an issue for us. I know I'm hogging the middle lane, but I'm just I'm just going to do it because I don't want a repeat incident of what just happened. I've never been to Germany, but um, I find it hard to believe that in Germany, on the motorways, on the autobahn, there aren't such things as cat's eyes or street lighting on uh, at junctions and what have you. I'd be very surprised if that was the case. Oh, rain. That's cool. Adds to the realism. Let me step it up a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a police car on its roof. Only in Fernbus Coach Simulator. Oh my god, the carnage. The absolute carnage. Somehow, I'm going to have to pull out into lanes of traffic doing 100 kilometers an hour and just go around this guy. How mentally crazy is that? Massive accident. Somehow, we didn't get hit by that. That's quite an impressive uh, avoidance there. Oof. And there, and there again is a fantastic thing about Fernbus Coach Simulator. Now, the chances are the fact that that police car is on its roof is, bec you know, it's a bug rather than a feature. But what a great feature. Please don't ever fix that bug. Unless, of course, it is a feature. In which case, bravo. <laughs> I mean, that really mixes it up. That, that gives you something to talk about. That's an experience. Do you remember when we drove <coughs> from Frankfurt to, uh, to München and there was that police car on its roof? I mean, wow. That's, you'll remember that. So I think we're making relatively good progress today. Again, with full beam headlights on, I should be able to see more. Lighting really needs to be improved somehow. these chicanes can't do anything about those and to be quite honest where's my wing mirror ok there's nothing coming to be quite honest I'm surprised how am I speeding I was 80 Whoops. I did not see that speed change there the signs are too small. I can't read those. Back up to 100, typically, just as I get down to 80. Bloody chicane again. Uh, windscreen wipers. Now, it looks like we're coming off here, guys. Oh, 
I'm going to do my very best not to miss this turning. I'm very much hoping to get there on time. Yep, looks like we're on the right route. Turning right again now. Let's just have a look here. It says Munchen straight on. So which is it? It's definitely, well, oh, I suppose technically you could go straight on. We're, we're going to turn right, but technically you could go straight on. So that road sign <clears throat> is not technically incorrect, but um, we're not going to go that way anyway. We're going to go this way. Now, if this is a five-hour drive, which it is, pardon me, by the way, a bit of wind. If this is a five-hour drive, we ought to have... Ooh. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we very much ought to have a break at some point. Now, the difficulty is... Yeah, that is the whole hard shoulder, isn't it? So I've driven a lot of the way here on the hard shoulder, which was totally accidental. Uh, the difficulty is that I have to change camera view in order to do that. As a... Can I make a request to TML? Look at this. Look how close this guy is. Look. Oh. He's backed off a little bit now. Probably because I'm nearly driving into him. But he was pretty close. I think you saw that, didn't you? Um, so here's a request to TML. So when you change, when you click to change uh, view, could you please have an option where? Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. Right then, instead of being a click on, click off kind of scenario, could you just change it so that whilst you press the button, it shows you that view, and when you let go. It reverts back to the driver view. I think that would be brilliant. That would definitely make things a lot easier because it's only one button press instead of two. And if you just want to check the time, for example, then that will allow you to do that. I am speeding, but uh, it's only by one kilometre an hour. I'm going to let myself off. So yeah, would that be possible, guys, to... Uh, to ch change change that view so that uh, you press and hold to look at the speedo, you press and hold to look at the buttons, etc, etc, you press and hold to look at the clock, and the second you let go of that button, it reverts back to this view, or if you were outside, then the outside view, I suppose. That would be excellent. That would, uh, that would be a massive step forward, and... I don't think it would be that big um, an effort in terms of coding. So that would be wonderful if you could possibly produce that. And the next update would be wonderful. We've got slightly better wing mirrors now. We can actually see if there are vehicles coming, which is very nice. And if you could possibly include that that new feature that I've just mentioned, then that would be doubly nice.
So I've been in contact with the guys over at TML and uh, they have confirmed in no uncertain terms that ongoing development for Phonebus Coach Simulator 1 is guaranteed. Uh, we should be in the right lane here, I think. Yeah. So uh, the fact that they've announced the city bus driving simulator uh, should not be a cause for concern. I think I've said a few times that uh, because they're being built almost on the same platform, if you will, they're using Unreal Engine 4 for both, I believe, um, then any enhancements that, you know, any performance improvements that they achieve in uh, in the city bus driving game, which, by the way, they don't have a name for yet, if, if they make any useful improvements there, then that, that will port its way over to Fernbus, or potentially port its way over to Fernbus 1, which is good for us. I mean, it's great news. Um, there probably isn't a budget for rebuilding Fernbus 1, but in the process of building Fernbus 2 slash Fernbus, well, it's not even going to be called Fernbus, but, you know, the, the city the city driving bus thing uh, there'll be a budget in that to uh, make sure that it's got better performance and uh, if we're lucky hopefully fingers crossed TML will be able to port those performance enhancements over to Fernbus 1 and make it good kind of like and I think I've said this before um, where American Truck Simulator has a whole bunch of new features and then after a little while, you see that they also appear in... Oh, we're going through a tunnel. How cool. Tunnel lighting's been improved. Also appear in Euro Truck Sim 2, I was going to say. Oh, I do like the sound. Now, why is there a cross on this side? Should I not be in this lane? That's cool. But still, the audio for driving through the tunnel continues after you've left the tunnel for a little bit too long. It's only a minor gripe. It's nothing serious, but it does. So it'd be silly of me not to mention it. Let me get back in this lane now. We still have high beam on? Yes, we do, yeah. So maybe high beam is a good low beam and high beam needs to be much higher. I think that's probably the way it is. And let's be fair, you're not going to use high beam very often. If this was low beam, you wouldn't really need to use high beam all that often. So fingers crossed they'll do something about that. Certainly, I can see cars approaching in my wing mirror now. Whereas previously, I couldn't do that. So I am glad about that, at least. And I've got the driest mouth. 70. Oh, we are going way too fast. Yeah, no, I'm slow. No, I'm slowing, I'm slowing. There we go. Hey! Why do I have to drive at the speed limit and you guys don't? That's hardly fair. Oh, see? I'm not going to take responsibility for that accident because there was a chicane there at the end of the tunnel and I'm doing 80 kilometres an hour. How am I supposed to negotiate that in a coach that flaps about like this one does? simply not going to happen, is it? That would be nice. If there were two updates I'd request, then they would be the two. Get rid of all the flipping chicanes, because they are a nightmare and nobody, nobody likes them, and implement that press and hold view change thing that I dreamt up a moment ago. 
that would be awesome that would be a very good update right what's going on here we have some cornering coming up and it looks like we're going left and that is fairly much in accordance with what I'm expecting yes looks pretty good oh no come off straight over and round okay got it so we're coming off here I do need to bind the zoom in and out for uh, for the GPS to one of the buttons on my controller that would make my life a lot easier also with the map Steady, steady. <sighs> what gets me is he wasn't even turning off. Now, yes, I grant you, I should have given him a bit more space, but it's not normal. <laughs> to just slam your brakes on when you're on a motorway it really isn't and bearing in mind today I am making as much effort as I possibly can to keep this as realistic and authentic as possible he says like. speeding like a lunatic so slow it right down Hey, look at that moon. That's pretty awesome looking. See, now instantly I could see there was a car coming up on my inside. Whereas previously I'd have hit that car because I would have had to have pulled out and I would have just gone for it because there was no indication that there was anything there or not. So that's great. That really is an improvement. And I know a lot of you have complained because there's no force feedback, well, no true force feedback. But um, that, for me, has been a massive gripe for a long time. And uh, I'm really, really glad to see that wing mirror working more effectively. Well, effectively, working effectively as it did in that situation. It's a bit glitchy today. I don't know why, guys. Do apologise. Traffic has slowed right down for some reason. Perhaps someone is... Oh, you're kidding me, right? How annoying. Right, I'm going to take an opportunity here. I don't know if I need to take a break. It's not telling me I need to take a break. But let's just have a look, see. That's really annoyed me about that. I suppose it's a good time also, if I just stop here a second. If I stop, that'd be good. Uh, let's look here. So fuel, we're fine. So we've been driving for 3.1 hours and we have to have a break at f after 4 hours. So, yeah, at 10 o'clock we're supposed to be having a 15 minute break which is an hour away from now. So I'm in a prime opportunity or a prime position to have a break now and not have a break at 10. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be proactive. That is, as long as there's somewhere to have a break, which uh, I'm a bit concerned that there might not be. Is there a break stop somewhere? Yes, there it is. Just up here on the left.
Another thing I'd like to see is that you can park in any stop and take a break. I don't like being forced into this one. It's a personal thing. It's not a deal breaker, I guess. I'm just going to step out, guys, let everybody have a 15 minute break. There's a garage over there if you want to uh, stop. And grab some refreshments. Right, so that's the end of my break. We should have 14 passengers. Now, I don't know what to do if... One, two, three, four, five... Five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Yep, I'll get the heating on, madam. I do like the sounds I can hear of the uh, sort of. Now, now it appears I can't start the engine. Is it because we're in gear? Yep. Okay, and away we go. Let's turn the AC up a bit, a little bit. I think we're at 23 degrees now. 22, okay. 22, not as hot as I initially thought. It's still quite wintry out there, isn't it? I suppose. I can see no cars in the wing mirror, so I'm happy to pull out. And that seems to work beautifully. And we are on our merry way once again, and hopefully in the right direction. <laughs> Annoyingly, is there a car in the middle of the road? See, no lights on it. There's no lights on that vehicle, and there should be. That needs to be in the next update as well. Rear lights for vehicles and brake lights for vehicles, all vehicles. Now, interestingly, I suppose it wouldn't, would it? It's going to say the GPS, the speed on the GPS system. Only oh, just, for goodness sakes. The um, <clears throat> sound effects again. Don't know if you heard that. Well, the uh, the sat nav isn't going to adjust to. speeding restrictions around roadworks and what have you that's quite obvious but when you approach the roadworks the very first speed that it says is 120 whereas the GPS is at 100 so that doesn't balance that doesn't uh, match up properly it's a minor thing cool blimey What I should have done when I stopped is have a drink, because I've got the driest mouth in the world. At which point, anyone who's still watching screams out, Stop talking then. <laughs> have a drink. I think I might actually. I might actually just grab a drink here. Okay, officially just poured that all over myself. Outstanding. Feel a bit better. That's 
took the pain away and it's cooled me down because <laughs> it's all over me So Phonebus has got some uh, development to be done on it and um, yeah I mean I understand why some of you are frustrated I really do um, but the only thing I can say is keep talking to TML and keep saying to them you know this for me you know, when you speak to them, say from your perspective, for me, the most important thing that you need to fix in the next update is this. And then they can sort of get a priority list uh, going, if you will, highlighting the, the things that are irking the majority of people the most. At the same time, you're going to need to accept the fact that maybe the thing that irks you the most isn't the thing that irks the majority of people the most. In which case you're going to have to uh, just be a bit patient, I guess. Oh, I can see, I can see lights, but I can't figure out exactly how close he is. Oh, he is in my lane, in the next lane as well. I saw both vehicles then. That was cool. I could see the outside lane and the middle lane, in the rear view mirror. So that, that really shows it's working better, much, much better. It's actually usable now, whereas previously it hasn't been. I want to know what that red building is over there. Nope. For some reason, my uh, head tracking would not turn any further. Is this us? Is this our stop up here? It looks like we're close. Which is good, because my daughter's going to be home from school any minute now, and she'll want to come and talk to me. And nothing on this planet will stop her from doing that. <laughs> Which is fine. I know you guys are cool. I know you guys don't mind if my little girl comes in and says hello. But it will, I'm almost certain, distract me from what I'm doing. And, uh, I mean, we're so close now. I can't imagine I'll, I'll mess it up. Haha, <laughs> touch wood. So all in all, I think that's been a pretty fine run. Um, now, one thing I do hope is going to happen is that I get there within the next seven minutes because my recording system is set up to stop a recording and start a new one. Oh, speedo change. Look at this. Look how close he is. That's too close, dude. Too close. I love the trucks. I know some people are having issues with the trucks, I'm not, as you've seen, they're not bouncing around, I'm not having any negative issues at all. I think they're a fantastic enhancement to the game, make it feel more realistic for me. Wow, look at these trees. So we are officially about to discover Munchen, I would say. Oh no! All that way without ca getting a speeding ticket and then just because I was trying to zoom the GPS in and I didn't slow down fast enough, I get a ticket. That is just horrible. I think my head tracking's run out of battery or something. It stopped working. Yeah, we are not. We are not working here. Well, that's ri weird because my my Ed Tracker. No, I tell a lie. I'm using Track Hat today. My Track Hat is working because I can see it's working. It's just Phone Bus has decided. <laughs> that it's not working anymore. So that's weird. Yeah, 
absolutely broken. So this is going to make driving more interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> Thank goodness I'm almost there. <clears throat> now, I've no idea what's caused that. That hasn't happened before. Odd. Do you know what? I just realised I didn't do that, did I? No, that's not what's causing it. Well, I don't know then. I really, really don't know what the problem is. I, If I was going to have a stab in the dark and have a total guess, I would say maybe it's something to do with the ability of third... Oh, you can't do third person view whilst you're in the bus. That's interesting. No, really and truly that is not working. That's just completely switched off. And track hat is still on, track hat is still reporting. I can see the points moving as my head moves. There's certainly not an issue with that, but Fernbus is just not interpreting it anymore. I wonder if I can just... I can move with the mouse. It's not broken in that sense. Turn it back on again, see if that works. Nope, still not working. Well, blow me. The good news is, I guess, that I'm so close to uh, the destination point that um, we should be okay. But I'm a bit peeved because I'd like to be having a look around much and, and especially since I want to look for the stadium but uh, no that's not going to be possible and I'm speeding again there's my logo that's so cool it's so nice look at that such a happy man puts a smile on my face it really does So remember guys, um, at the beginning of this video I told you that I'd uploaded a whole bunch of repaints. Um, I think I've done four in total and I'm going to try and get a few more up there uh, when I have time. They take about half a day to a day each depending on complexity. Um, so it's not a small job, it's quite a lot of work. But uh, Go and have a look. If you like uh, the repaints that I've made, then please hit the thumbs up. If you've got any requests for uh, repaints that you'd like to see, then please do let me know in the comments section. Damn it, I wish I had head tracking. Please let me know in the comments section and I will be glad to consider at least doing that for you. Now that's weird, why would it be sending me around to the left? That feels like I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Wow. Wow. We've gone the wrong way. This is when you need head tracking, isn't it? Quite seriously. This is a cool looking bus station. And it's all indoors as well, which is nice. Damn it, I wish I could turn my head. So, um, I'm sorry that my track hat um, 
has stopped working with Fernbus for what whatever reason. Oh wow. This is why I need track cat so I can see what's around the corner. That was close, wasn't it? But here we are. We have made it to our destination. I think we're a bit late, but not too bad. Oh, she was that was a happy that was a happy thought. Right guys, um probably be a good idea to let everyone off the bus, wouldn't it? Off the bus myself. Goodbye everybody. Thank you for travelling with us today. Hope you enjoyed your journey. Let's log out. I earned a thousand XP. That gives me a total of six thousand and fifty four XP. That's not too bad. All good. All good. All good. Yeah, not so good. We had a couple of accidents. Four, in fact, and one speeding ticket. That's a bit of a shame. Safety distance, driving too close, and one erratic steering behaviour. Not too bad overall. That's quite good. So, that's it, guys. That's the route complete. Let's see what that's done for my standings in the game. It's bumped me all the way up to 2145th. So, uh, yeah, that's something at least. <laughs> More of that required. So please, guys, uh, go check out the mods. I don't know why it does this. Um, it always does. Go and check out my mods. Have a little drive around with them. Leave me some feedback if you'd like me to consider making some other um, repaints. And um, that's all for me, guys. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye for now.